YouTube, this is your boy Alex, and we're here today, as you can see we're in the shade, it's not a 100% guarantee, so if it cuts off out here, 79 degrees, but it still can flare back up to 85, and we might have to film inside the restroom, not that it shouldn't happen, so let's hope we get dead, dead, dead lucky, okay? Now this is another video in the series, it's going to be called Sex Game um Cigna Alpha Men and Women Fitness Clothes Hyphen Ends Friendships. See, we don't talk about what happens when materialistic items can cause confrontations between men and women or between women and another woman or a conflict between a man and another man. So we're going to do that in this video. So this might be between 15 to 20 minutes. We'll try to see if I can keep it under that time. And I apologize for the hair. You know, when I get a haircut, I'll look much better and much more presentable. The haircut and a shave. Because if you're going to be on camera making videos, you got to look much better than this. So I know there'd be some people who'd be seeing me and they'd be like, and I know they want to say it. Man, you need to get a haircut. Man, you need to trim your beard up. We know we need to get a haircut. We know we need to get a trim as soon as everything is back to normal that's what it's going to be a clean shave a haircut back to the gym back to work making money kicking ass and taking names we'll get back to that I and mean, i apologize for the audio the audio was messed up yesterday i asked some people behind the scenes because i already I always say it in my videos and guess what they actually called me yesterday and told me that they watch my youtube videos i'm talking about the people behind the scenes and they told me that one of the videos were so badly messed up that they advised that they don't have me put it up on the channel because they have a hard time screening it. So if the time gets cut short because, you know, they want me to try some new things until I get a new camera. Because it was basically suggesting you should get a new camera and change things up and that you need a new model because this old model is kind of, you know, about to run its course. So apologize. For that my audience let's get on with the video subjects now in the world of fitness there's two types of people there are winners there are losers there are men and women who win in fitness and unfortunately you have some men and women who lose in the world of fitness now just because i say that it doesn't mean that's always going to be the case but because i've been going to the gym for the past 10 out of 15 out of not 15, but I've been going to the gym 10 out of 14 years, I can tell you I've gone to every gym that there is to go on to. I've gone to 24-Hour Fitness, LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, Gold's Gym, Club Bay, Club Onyx, UFC Gym, you name the gym, I probably have gone to it. Gyms you didn't even think exist, I've gone to those too. And the first thing I can tell you is that 99.99% accurately, you have... A thing that always happens at these gyms. You have your alphas, you have your sigmas, and yes, you got betas at the gym. You know, I'm, you know where I'm about to go with the title of the video. And you see, in the world of fitness, you got to be careful if you're in athletic shape because, like I did in my last video, there is a thin line between what is considered self improvement in fitness versus your basically showing off to everybody that you're better than them now some people might say can you be more pacific we'll be more pacific for an example let's say if i go to 24-hour fitness and i leg squat bench press or deadlift 300 pounds or 400 pounds 500 pounds it is me getting in the athletic shape without no question i am getting bigger stronger and faster and bigger gains the problem is it's starting to go from its self-improvement in fitness to now I'm just showing off. And that doesn't turn on people. That turns people off. They think you're arrogant. They think you're a jerk, an asshole. And people get the wrong impression. And then it turns into one of those stereotypes from movies and television shows. You know, the dumb bodybuilder who comes in and basically he's big and strong, but he doesn't understand that People don't want to go near him because he's too arrogant. And I'm not talking about the guys who just flex their muscles. You know, those are, we'll get to that. Now, 
friendships start in the gym, friendships end in the gym. Just like friendships start at work, friendships end at work. I'm going to take the same situation from the workforce and put it into a gym setting. A lot of men, and you might you might actually be surprised by this, there are a lot of men who uh, normally most men get in trouble at the gym because they harass women. You know, you find a woman physically, sexually attractive at the gym. I already made videos about that in the past on my old YouTube channels and new ones called Gym Bully Part 1 and Part 2, where I talked about the math and science and the aspects of bullying. But we're going to do the complete opposite in this video. It's not going to be, it's going to be me explaining bullies, but we're going to go more into how, what happens if you're the reason why the stuff happens. Now. Most men who will attack alpha males is because those guys are always getting women's attention inside the gym. A lot of times, you will see one guy come in, you know, between five foot ten to six foot four. He's between one hundred and ninety, maybe two hundred and fifty pounds, muscular build, play basketball or football. Just happens to be tall, naturally athletic, good looking. And he just happens to get everyone's attention. When he comes in the room or in the gym, you could feel the power. You could feel the masculine energy when this man walks in. He ain't got to tell nobody who he is because people know who he is. So he already commands, not demand, commands attention and respect. But one of the rules about being an alpha male in the gym is you don't go looking for the attention as much. You just try to stay in shape, work out. You know, if you got basketball, you go play basketball. If you got swimming, you go do swimming. If they have mixed martial art classes, you participate or you just finish your workout and go home for the rest of your day. You might speak to two or three people in the gym. That's the alpha. The Sigma male in the gym is usually the guy that's by himself. He might speak to two or three people, two or three girls, two or three guys. He might play basketball. He might not. He might swim. He might not. And he usually stays to himself. He tries to just do his workout, get in, get out, because he doesn't want to get in any trouble. Even if he doesn't do anything wrong for six months to a year, he doesn't want the attention. Most Sigma males, when they go to their fitness, they don't want the attention. They might welcome it, and sometimes they might, you know, walk away from it. You know, alpha males try to say hi to everyone. You know, they, if they don't speak to you today or tomorrow or next week, it could be six months, it could be a year later, but they do speak. And the alpha male is not always a bodybuilder or a weightlifter or a powerlifter like you see in the movies and the television shows. That's called a stereotype. In real life, he could be a police officer, a firefighter. He could be a person that works for the FBI. He could be a security guard. He could be your boss at your job. It could be a basketball player, a football player. It doesn't always have to be the alpha male is always a, a, a bodybuilder, a weightlifter, a powerlifter. Now, you do get them in the gym, but you have to understand the difference between what you see in the movies and the television shows and what you're actually seeing in real life. Now, the beta male who goes to the gym, as you know, I'm about to get to it. The a beta male can't seem to understand why... No one gives him attention when he comes to the gym. So what the beta male does, and this is something that got me in trouble the first two or three years at the gym. Every now and then it kind of recurs, and then sometimes a bodybuilder or a weightlifter pull me to the side and kind of do this. Hey, buddy, uh, you need to stop doing that because that's, that's not good. And, you know, I'll look at them and say, why is that? And they'll say, because you attract too much unwanted attention. You can cause fights arguments and you can even get kicked out of the gym so just because the alphas can get the attention from the girls it don't mean you can do it and say you couldn't it's it's the way it gets established the beta males want everyone's attention and the beta males don't understand that there's a right way and there's a wrong way and and they usually and usually the rumors in the gym get started by of course, beta males. They'll talk about rumors of the bodybuilder. Oh, I heard of the guys taking performance enhancements. Oh, that ain't all muscle. That's drugs. You know, 
pass the word on to the others. And when the alpha male comes to the gym, right? It might be two months, five months, six months. Because they, they, they do get on the phone and text message the alpha male. And the alpha male comes to the gym. And when the alpha male comes to the gym, he goes, so I heard you've been talking about me. Want to care to explain? And the beta male will, will go, well, uh, well, well, uh, it was just one or two times. I ain't the only one. It'll try to justify it. And then the beta male will get five other beta males to pick on the alpha male. And then a lot of times the alpha male has to change gyms. As you know, it's no big secret. I have two gyms. Planet Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness. You know, the first six months I'm at 24-Hour Fitness. The second six months I'm at Planet Fitness. Why I have two gym memberships? To avoid fights and confrontations. You stay at one place for too long, people are going to start trying you in the gym. Oh, he can lift 250, I can lift 5, I can lift 290. Oh, he can lift 300, I can lift 350. You know, all of a sudden it turns into a contest. It ain't, you know, it ain't, you know, people have that mindset like we're in high school and college. It can't just be, let's be physically fit. A lot of alpha males deal with that. Now, the sigma male in their hand doesn't deal with that because the sigma male either goes to work early in the morning like three or four hours early in the morning when there ain't nobody at the gym, or the signal mail waits until he gets off of work where there's like three or four hours left before they close. So the signal mail always figures out how to stay out of trouble at the gym. Just like the signal mail figures out how to stay out of trouble at work, signal mail figures out how to stay out of trouble at work and out of the gym. The alpha mail, on the other hand, the alpha mail comes to the gym. When everyone comes to the gym. And that's how come the beta males always get upset with the alpha. He gets too much attention from the women. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm jealous. I'm going to start a fight. I'm going to go downstairs and report him and say he, he broke the shower head in the, in the, in the shower. Or, or he didn't wash his hands. Or that was him who left the water running. Or he didn't put the weights back. You know, little tattletelling. And then they'll spread rumors. They'll say, you, you talking about such and such. And the thing with the alpha is, if the alpha don't go to the gym for five months, that's when the beta male will talk about the alpha for five months. I'm talking about how the males act. Now, if you're one of those alphas that are showing off and you're making people feel bad, then that's the problem. There was an incident like four years ago at 24-Hour Fitness. There was this 52-year-old black guy that was trying to train guys in their 20s and 30s. And one of the beta males got mad because he felt that he was trying to show him how to work out, how to get in shape. Oh, you don't tell me how to get in shape. And actually, you know, homeboy found himself uh, ridden up for no apparent reason. And he got ridden up a second time. Got ridden up a third time. And then they post this new sign. Nobody tries to to show anyone personal training unless they're certified. That happened. Because a beta male was complaining about him training all these people to get in the shape. When I go to Planet Fitness, he there. And he looked at me with this look like, if I were you, I wouldn't stay at 24-hour fitness. You know. And that was just one guy. And they didn't just get rid of him. They got rid of like four other people. Then, I think last year somebody thought there was Dennis Rodman, the basketball player. They bleached their hair blonde. All of a sudden, they put a post up, no bleaching your hair blonde. And that can only happen if somebody goes and reports it. The ones that are reporting it are beta males. Because if they can't get the attention, you can't get the attention. You know, they'll justify we're here to get into athletic shape. We're not here to, you know, get girls' phone numbers. What it is is the beta male men are mad because when they ask for a girl's phone number... Or they talk to a girl for three months or six months or even two years. They can't get her to say yes to lunch and dinner. But the alpha male does it. Yes to lunch and dinner. A sigma male could do it. A lot of times a sigma male could do it but don't do it. So you see the difference between alpha and sigma. Now, I explain the men. Let me explain the females. Now, you got the alpha female. The alpha female is by far the most physically, sexually attractive woman who goes to these gyms. 
It doesn't matter if it's LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, 24-Hour Fitness, Gold's Gym, UFC Gym, LA Boxing Gym, Gym, period. She, if it's a white girl, she's probably like Scarlett Johansson. If it's a black girl, she's probably Beyonce. Or in this case, you could say Carly B or whoever you can think of. And when she come in the gym, same thing with the alpha female. She commands, not demand, commands the attention and the respect from all men and women. The men find her physically, sexually attractive. And the women hate her, but they want to imitate and copy her style. That's the alpha female when she comes to the gym. And same thing with the females. They'll lie. They'll make rumors. Oh, I don't like her. Every time she come here, she thinks she can get a free membership. They'll lie and say she tried to get a free membership. They'll say, oh, she tried to uh, 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 go four months without paying her bill. They'll just make stuff up about the girl. And they don't even have to know the girl. And then if it's the Sigma female, same thing. The Sigma female is just like the male counterpart of being Sigma. I come to the gym. I work out. I hit the showers, I leave, I go home, stay out of what? Trouble. Now, the alpha female will get will get attacked by women who don't like her. And these women usually will be angry and upset because she's getting all the male attention. And she'll go to the office or whatever, and she won't do it when the alpha female comes to work out. Usually this is when you're not there. It could be... Fu- Five months that the girl ain't went to the gym. She come to the gym. And all of a sudden they go, well, we had to suspend your account. And the alpha female will be like, why? Well, we got some complaints that when you come in here, you like to stand in front of the mirror for four months at a time. And you like to show off your body to all the guys. And the girl will be like, I don't do that. But I know two other girls who do it. That's this, this alpha female talking. And the managers at the gym were saying, well, we heard that you did it, so we had to suspend your account. And the alpha female be like, okay, sorry, so it's, it's cool, sorry. The reason why the alpha female is saying this because she know they're hating on her outfits, and she know that the outfits that she have on is making them jealous because all the men are paying attention. But she goes to another gym, and after going to two or three gyms, the alpha female does something that uh, no one expects. She quits the gym memberships and then starts buying gym equipment and works out at home and still gets that same level of attention. Sometimes the Sigma female does that, where she'll go to a gym for two or three years and save all her money up to get her own gym equipment. Now let's get to the compare and contrast. We're still talking about clothes. Sometimes when you come on with fit clothes, people might try to figure out if you're rich, famous, and, you know, they'll start up the conversation, and this is where you got to be careful because you get the conversating, the talking, and then you tell personal information that you shouldn't be. It's just like at work. You hang out with people at work. When you go to the clubs with your coworkers, you got to be careful with with certain information you say. When you're at the gym, again, you got to be careful with certain information because it comes out, and when it comes out, um, guess what happens? They will um, go back and tell the other person behind your back, and then you got to explain it, and that ends the friendship. It, there have been fights because one person wears nice, good-looking clothes, and then they're not friends anymore. All of a sudden, you change your phone number. All of a sudden, you don't see that person for two years, four years, five, ten years, all because of a misunderstanding at a gym. Oh, this person got a nice car. I don't want to talk to him no more. So now you lose your best friend if you're a man or a girl because you pull up to the gym with a new car, a new truck, a new motorcycle. Materialistic items. You come in with some new clothes. They're Nike. They're Jordan. They don't want to talk to you no more. You come in with some new Michael Jordans to work out on the basketball court at a 24-hour fitness. Oh, man, those are some nice shoes, man. Those are some nice Jordans. Where you get them from? So now the beta male's upset because he can't afford no Jordans, but you can. And then that's when people start breaking into people's lockers just because you're showing off. If you self-improve, then you can't really be saying, oh, these are some new shoes. Now, if they say them some new shoes, 
you can you can acknowledge it, but don't be trying to buy new stuff because you know they're gonna pay attention. That's when it's it ain't self improvement. Now it's you're showing off. That's why some people when they go to a gym, they bring stuff that's just a workout, and then the clothes that they put on, they actually put that on either when they go home or they stop at another place and put those clothes back on. And sometimes you keep your ver your um ver um your valuables either at home or in the car. And I'm really supposed to keep them in the gym because they break into the lockers. So this video was to explain how the clothes are. For the females, women do harass other women. It does actually happen. And you have men who harass other men at the gym. Just because their fitness clothes attracts a bunch of attention. So this is to finish off the series. Because I'm going to go into a new series of videos. And we'll cut it short because we want to make sure the camera doesn't cut off. So...